Hi, welcome back to Golf KRC. If you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that notification bell and hit that like button. Hi, welcome back to Colf KRC. Today we're going to have a look at these. These are the Skyzone 030 OLED goggles. Be that a little bit now. Uh, I bought these because I'm using the DJI digital system and I found that when I was looking using normal goggles after that, I was having, they would look majorly shocking to be fair. And I didn't want to buy the Fat Shark HDOs because of the expense and also because of the modules. I didn't want to have to go buy modules and I don't fly at stupidly high distances so I didn't think I needed it. These are still expensive, don't get me wrong, these are coming around 330 quid. They're not the cheapest goggles in the world. But you have to take my word for this, these things are amazing. The image quality through these things are fantastic. Oh, it's not GG, it's not the quality of a DJI F HD system or if you even if you use the Fat Shark um bike frost system but it's fantastic for normal analog fpv these things are fantastic you can buy these in a lot of different colors i went for the i think it's midnight blue and they are finger magnet fingerprint magnets so you can see i don't know if you can see they've got fingerprint marks all over them so it comes with an adjustable speed fan and you can adjust the speed of the fan by the on and off power switch yeah it's got if you hold the button in for three seconds it turns the goggles on or off and then if you press it quick press it'll adjust the speed of the fan up and down you can also adjust the speed of the fan up and down through the menu it has underneath you have an SD card slot you have AV out and AV in a USB I presume that's for upgrading your HDMI in so you can have you I believe you can connect these to the Frostbite Mike Frost system. I'll be double checking that and if you can I will try and get older one to do and you've got head tracking in and out. You've got IPD adjustments here and they are quite decent IPD adjustments. So the screen on these is slightly smaller than the HDOs, the visible screen you can see but there's not much in it. Uh, and they are 4 by 3 and 4 by 3 only. I fly 16 by 9 and I bought these and I thought I didn't know how I'm going to add it. been seconds you're used to it so that was never going to be an issue. In the packet you get the case which isn't the best case in the world but all this fits in the case which is an added bonus because a lot of goggles you get you can't fit everything in the case and I can get everything just about in that case. You also get a different face plate. So this place, face plate if you look is curved at the edges and this one is flat so when you put it in it's completely flat at the edges for, uh, for different sizes of face. You get two of these cushions, they do not come fitted they do not even have the backing on the velcro you have to fit this yourself so this is sticky velcro stuff that goes into the frame there and then this sticks on the top you get a spare one of those and i've actually stuck it on there which i've done 110 times and then you also get a box of parts you get iv cable head tracking cable Another head tracking cable, so that one is the Ifatava type connection, and it's the standard 3.5mm jack. You get two analog antennas, which aren't the best in the world, obviously, and you get a power cable to connect it to a battery choice. It does not come with a battery. I have a battery for it, so I'll show you in a minute, but I do not use, but you're mainly meant to use a 3S LiPo or 2S LiPo. It runs on various voltages, which is another good thing. Let's put the other one side. So as you can see, I don't, I'm not using the, ten, the antennas, I'm using the Menace patch and the Menace um, other antenna. I can't remember what it's called then. Complete blank. And these are this pack. So this is an FPV goggle pack. These are fantastic. I don't know how much they are very well. In the UK, these are 20 quid, the 19.99. I bought these from quadcopters.co.uk. Uh, really nice. I ordered them yesterday, I've had today, so you can't really fault that. And that's because I wanted to keep the other antennas from the other goggles, obviously. And the other thing I bought is the Bandicoot linear antenna. So if I'm using it, so if you use something that's got linear antennas on the back, you know, your small stuff, you need one of these and probably one of them linear antennas that's what I tend to use, but the patch just improves it. And obviously I swapped that over. And the other thing I've got is I use the Fusion FPV Smart battery pack, which is the version two. 
and if you didn't have an on off switch you could use this on an off switch so double press to turn it on you could it, there's loads of i'm not going to go with a review on this there's loads of reviews on this on youtube where you can adjust your voltage you can adjust your time on everything like that. it's really really nice piece of kit runs on two 18650s that go inside here and you get a charging cable which i have somewhere to show you i've never used it but yeah in the pack you get the charging cable so you can charge it straight from your charger you don't need to set these batteries out you can use this i have my own made up and you get a little screw down with some screws Again, these are quite expensive, but I, I just prefer having them on so I can just quickly look at my battery to see what my battery's power is. And then you've got, and if you long press the goggles, they turn on. I, I don't think you're going to you get a good, you can't really use this one. Let me see if I can just show you the menu. No, you... It's almost impossible to do this. You have to take my word for it. The menu system there, and you can go up and down with it. It's easy to use. You've got these buttons on the top. Some have double features, like your search button. If you press the search button and tap it, it will turn on this camera on the front, to the camera on the front. Oh, it also has LEDs on the front. Should have showed you them. You could adjust them LEDs and make them do a combination of different things. There's different colours, there's different ways of doing it. They can have it just coming up. It's just really a bit of a gimmick. I quite like it, so I turned them on. It comes stock with them not turned on, they're easy to turn on the menu. And this is the camera, so you can use the front camera if you want. So if you've got your quad, you're not sure where it is on the floor, you can just flick and look. The, the camera's not the best quality in the world, do not get me wrong. But it's adequate for what it does, I don't think I'll ever use it, but it's adequate. You've got your band and channel buttons up here, and that's for your head tracker. And also the menu is is got this is into this way. To go into your menu, long press that one. Band and channel will go up and flick up and down. So your menu, that will, if you hit, keep hitting that button, it will adjust the items on the top bar of the menu, and then you can adjust up and down. And then if you hit the record button, it'll enter that one. If you hit the mode button, it takes it out of the menu. So they have got double features. They're very easy to use. You get used to it. I've heard people saying that it's a bit complicated. It, it really isn't. It's dead easy. Once you've used it once, you'll never have a problem. So these are the... Uh, o versions, they also come in an S version, I presume the S stands for standard so it hasn't got the OLED screens, quite a lot cheaper so if you are looking at these and someone's got some for sale, be careful at what you buy because they look identical. So you need to make sure you get, if you want the OLED, you get the OLEDs. I haven't tried the other ones, they look really good on the reviews I've seen, but again I haven't tried them. I think they're a fantastic goggle. Get yeah, pricey but you're going to pay pricey for OLED screens until they become more common than like everything else I'd imagine the price will go down eventually. But I love them, I think they're really nice. They're not like the DJI system but they're never going to be but for uh, goggles that have for analogue, oh, these are fantastic. Obviously the OLED, uh, sorry the, yeah, the HD, uh, oh, is it HDO2 that's come out from Fat Shark? And they apparently have got better screens than these, but these are really bright. One thing to tell you, when you do get these, if you think the screen looks dull, you need to up the luminescence of the panels. And you can do that in the menu. Because when you get it, I, I looked at these at first and thought it's a bit dull. They were set at 3 out of 9. Um, and I've seen other reviews, they've been set at 6. I've got these running on 7. 7 fantastic. 9 looks too bright to me. But, yeah, fantastic. Highly recommend these. Just pricey. So if, you, if you're looking for some OLED goggles, I don't think, I think still, even with the HDO2 that's coming out, I still think these are going to be, these are a good buy because of the price, and you don't need to buy any kind of receiver for them. Obviously, you've got built-in diversity receivers, you can check that it's on your display, the screen, but I've, these probably won't have, they're not going to have the range of the fat sharks when you're stuck in the, the expensive modules, but... I still think for the price point, they're unbeatable. So, thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fan. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button. And also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.